Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Mac Flecknoe, a poem by John Dryden. Mac Flecknoe is a satire and the subject of this poem is the true blue Protestant poet T.S. Here, T.S. refers to the poet Thomas Shadewell who lived during the time of John Dryden. The very first line of the poem itself starts like an epic poem which is going to tell about a historical hero. But the next lines talk about Macflecknoe, a monarch, that is a ruler, who instead of ruling an empire, rules over the realm of nonsense. And since the king is old and therefore he has to choose a successor to his throne, Dryden wonders whether he will choose a poet because poets are said to be intelligent, talented and they will use their wisdom. Or whether he will choose someone like him, that is a man with no literary talent at all. Flecknow decides to choose his son Shadewell, a man with no talent and who is tedious, stupid and always at war with wit. That is, he has a lot of fight with all the intelligent people. Shadwell is also described as a very corpulent man. Through Flecknow's words, the poet continues to insult Shadwell in a mock heroic tone, calling him a dunce, the last great prophet of tautology, and for anointed dullness he was made. Shadwell arrives in London and he is outfitted like a king and lauded by the people. Flecknow chooses for his son's throne a neighbourhood of brothels and theatres birthing bad actors. Inside those places, real drama does not exist. Instead of that, only simple plays are welcome. Dryden also alludes to some of the historical Shadwell plays like Epsom Wells and Psyche and mocks another contemporary writer, Singleton, who is envious that he wasn't chosen as the successor to the throne. It is clear that in this environment, Shadwell will rule over those who have no literary talent. Dryden highlights the incompetency of Shadwell and creates the image of a fool ruling over presence. As the coronation begins, the streets are filled with the limbs of other poets, suggesting that Shadwell managed to get a hold on his position at the expense of all the talented writers. Once more, the poet mentions human waste and links it with Shadwell's writing and compares him with a heroical figure who is also a historical figure, Hannibal, to suggest that Shadwell's purpose is to destroy wit and replace it with dullness. During his coronation, the oil used to anoint a new king is replaced by ale, signifying the poet's dullness. After the crown is placed on his head, Shadwell sits on the throne and the former king prepares to give the cheering crowd a speech. The former king begins by presenting the land over which the new king will rule, which is actually a territory where no one lives. Flecknow urges his son to remain true to his writing and to not let anyone make any changes in his work. Flecknow praises Shadwell's abilities and then ends his speech by telling Shadwell to continue to remain dull and to avoid trying to be like Johnson. Flecknow concludes by exhorting his son not to focus on real plays but rather to focus on the work on acrotics or anagrams. His last words are cut off and he sinks below the stage. His mantle falls on Shadwell which is appropriate because he has twice as much talent which is actually a mockery as his father. The poem ends here. It's a beautiful satire by John Dryden. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.